Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sue Neek and today I've got a couple of decks I want to show you that are majors only. So the first one is this one, the White Witch Tarot, uh, Maya de Deuced. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I've had this one quite a while um, and it is called the White Witch Tarot. It's a mass market deck. Beautiful, beautiful deck, this one. Um, gorgeous. Let me keep this little bit of um, protective wrapping over it. But I'll show you that in a sec. But I've just received this one, handmade in Italy with love. It's gorgeous. Uh, thank you for choosing Il Manigello. So this is an Il Manigello deck that I actually saw on somebody else's channel. Um, do, 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 who was it? Giselle. Uh, yeah, I think it was Giselle and Madwitch. So go check out that channel because it's brilliant. <laughs> I love Giselle's take on things. Um, yeah, I saw this on her channel. And immediately... I wanted this deck. I just wanted it. And I, I did know it was a 22 card deck. A majors only deck. I'm fine with that. And we've got a seal. Look at that. Beautiful seal on it. So, yeah, I want to have a look at this. This uh, illustrated Maria Elena Peccio and edited Il Menigello. So it's got like... um almost like a card pasted onto the front there this is the back of the box so it's a look now as i understand it this is like a fairy tale deck and you may or may not know if you're watching my channel that this year i am delving into fey energy <laughs> for good or worse we've got a little leaflet here yeah, this is fairy tales. Looking at that once upon a time. <laughs> okay, I think this, I don't know. This item is created by hand. Any imperfections or variations are due to its workmanship and are not to be considered as defects. So this is a very special deck. And I bought it actually off um, Il Manigallo's website. So let's take the plastic off and have a little look. The first thing I'm noticing is that corners are square and not, I think they don't look to be um, rounded off. So it's a numbered deck. This is number 400 and 410 and looks like there is 600 in total. So yay! Oh, I feel special now. <laughs> So it's 2022 in uh, Milano in Italy. And this looks like the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like a faded image. These are the backs. Oh, oh that's making my eyes go funny. <laughs> okay, so, oh look. Now I didn't watch the full walkthrough because I wanted to be uh, surprised as I look at it myself for the first time but this is adorable isn't it so it's it's sort of like a sepia uh, tone almost like a faded paper um, it's cardboardy yeah and it, the, the edges aren't rounded in saying that i think you could round them yourself with a corner rounder because look you've got the guideline here so that's a possibility if you don't like squared off edges. Magician. This is charming. This is a charming deck. Yeah, very fairy taleish. There's the La Papessa or the High Priestess. This is the Empress. I love the heart. Yeah, the heart shaped at the back. And it looks like they've all been signed as well. This is that emperor, <laughs> very young looking emperor. Oh, 
Pope. Papa, like a father. Yeah. The lovers. Chariot. Charioteer is fully armoured here. We have justice at eight. The hermit. Snowy scene. Wheel of fortune. And strength. Strength at eleven. And one. I always find it interesting on hanged uh, man cards whether the the um, clothes are hanging, you know, falling down here. I mean, that cloak must be really stiff to <laughs> stay in that position and not like fall down. Oh wow! Look at this death card. Do you know, I was only thinking the other day, why do we always think that death is a male figure and not a female figure? How do we know it's not a female figure? I just wondered. <laughs> but that looks like a female figure. Well, that's just the clothing that's given me that. But yeah, I did wonder that the other day. You know, I thought, I always presume that death is a male figure. Maybe it's from the Terry Pratchett books I love. I do love Terry Pratchett. Uh, temperance. Beautiful. Here's our devil in a mask. With puppets. Oh yes, that's clever. I like it, I like it. And that's really what the devil means, doesn't it? Someone else is pulling our strings. The tower. Holding on to the brick there. Catching it, maybe. Before it hits him on the head, possibly. We have a star, butterflies. Oh, it's a very charming deck, isn't it? The the moon. Sorry, I had to take a pause and look at that animal. Then it was oh, what's that? Like something from a Disney cartoon. <laughs> we have the sun. We've actually got the solar twins. What a pretty sun. Judgment. And the world. Well, there is no guidebook. There's just this little um, leaflet here. So that's in Italian. <laughs> That's all in Italian. So, okay. We've just got a one-liner for each card. So, for instance, in the lovers, it's these. Prince Charming has met Sleeping Beauty. The union will generate balance. So that's Sleeping Beauty and Prince Charming. There we go. Fairy tale. Isn't that lovely? Okay. So that's for my inner child. <laughs> I thought we might go nice with the Fae energy that I'm working with this year. So yeah, that's that day. So let's have a look at the White Witch Tarot, which is a bit of a different vibe, as you will see. So we've got this ribbon here to open the box. It's got ribbons here to keep the box. And it says, Maya is a practicing white witch whose interest in alchemy and the esoteric sciences spans her entire lifetime. After completing her bachelor's degree in biochemistry, Maya studied oriental medicine and later earned a master's degree in transformational psychology with a focus on shamanism and the I Ching. Maya writes about alchemy and magic and lectures nationally on esoteric topics. She works for a non-profit, The Well Wishers, along with Dr. Kelvin DeWolf, to bring education and services of ancient knowledge to the community of Los Angeles. 
Let's just put my little bit of paper to one side. Now we've got a very glossy deck. Morning. <laughs> this is the bottom of the box, it's just black. These are the backs of the cards, and I think that's just. Whoa. Isn't that just amazing? We have a guidebook. And they've just really got um, a little poems for each card. So we'll do, let's have a look at the lovers just to compare. And for our lovers, it's reciprocity. So we find lovers. Oh, <laughs> it's not in order. One second. Okay, I've put them back in order. Um, okay, so these are the cards. Very glossy black with gold. So look at the full, got the face of the full there. It's just magnificent. Magician. High Priestess, the Empress, isn't that glorious with the heart with the, uh, the little one inside and the bird. There's so much when you start to actually look into these cards. They seem quite simple at first. So you like we have the Emperor here and we've got the face looking towards us but we've got a face looking to the left and also we've got the beak of a bird. And then there's all this going on as well. Hierophant with the cross keys. Okay, so the lovers. I was just going to read this one as to give you an example of the guidebook. Reciprocity. And we can see the crossed hands there, can't we? Oh, in quite a few places. Uh, we've got crossed hands there, what look like crossed hands and a heart. There's a crossing here, there's a crossing here. Anyway, three faces. Uh, friction of exterior raises the attention of a force that slumbers when alone. An outside thing that can be felt, crawls under the deepest skin. Contentment will not end contention. Departure taken to the end means we will soon meet again. Though farms and flesh are rearranged, our inner faces are the same. The mirror sleeping in your bed produces fruits of Eden. When you wed, passion drawn through raw response is virgin pure and greets the dawn. <laughs> so yeah, that, there's not so much card meanings in this little guidebook. But it's just full of energy, this deck, full of energy. The Hermit, look at that for a Hermit card. It's just magnificent. Wheel of Fortune. Got a snake eating its own tail. Justice. Double-edged sword. So you can actually turn it that way as well. Look at this for the hangman. <laughs> Death. Wow. I can't believe I've never shown this deck before. It's just one of my all time favourite decks with temperance. You see how this is this claw of this bird is pulling down this mouth and exposing the gums. Devil, the tower. I don't know if this deck is still available actually. I can't even remember what I got it from it so long ago. It's the tower forcing us to see things <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. The star, 
moon. Now what does that remind you of? <laughs> We've got the crab. But it's whatever you see in the card, isn't it? Of course. The sun. Judgment. How cool is that? It amazes me how artists can actually invoke a sense of a card with such simple lines. Amazing. And the world card. And here we've got the world on our backs. So yeah, the white witch tarot gold edges. Superb. Um, yeah, and 2017. I know I had had it a while. <laughs> 2017. I don't know if it is still available. And apologies if it isn't. If I can find it, I'll link it. So we've got some acknowledgements. Using the deck. All about psychology. Uh, suggested technique. This is a three card spread, which is quite different actually. So we have the protagonist, the antagonist and their unifier. And then we're onto the cards. So yeah, quite a simple guidebook. Um, the conclusion, they've put the fall at the, as the last card. Becoming. Is there yet an enemy can pose a threat to one who's loosened all identity? With no distinction necessary, the universe is who you marry. The end of petty opposition brings love itself into fruition. Unconditional and brave, it enters through the foolish knave. Hold a mind to right and wrong and you are chained to abandon. Or is it abandon? <laughs> Certainty comes quietly from acceptance of its own impossibility. Deep, huh? It's a deep deck. Just for a majors only deck, it's got a lot of depth to it. Whereas at the opposite end of the scale here, this is very simple. A very simple deck. But sometimes we need simplicity and sometimes we need to be stretched, don't we, a little bit. So yeah, there's two ends of the spectrum. <laughs> Satisfy both needs. Okay, so... Thank you so much for watching and until my next video. Bye friends. Bye.